Hello! Thought I would do a quick tutorial covering force stance swaps uh, since people have asked me a few times about them. Uh, I wasn't really going to do a lot of tutorial videos on my channel for Dark Souls 3 because Elden Ring is coming so quickly, but I figured probably worth to put this up. Uh, so we're looking at some stance weapons and all stance weapons, I think, have a similar property where you can chain together the R1 and R2 weapon arts like you're seeing here with the longsword. What we're doing pretty much is starting one of the stance weapon arts and then changing to a different weapon and telling the game, hey, I still want to do the opposite uh, stance weapon art. And Dark Souls 3 uh, well, it keeps a lot of these things in its memory for longer than it really needs to. So we can actually do this. We can switch to a different weapon and do the opposite stance. There's not a lot of weapons in this game that actually still have hitboxes when you do this. And there's very few. There's actually only two that will burger flip or uh, throw someone into the air when you do this. And those are the Profaned Greatsword and Lorien's Greatsword. So the inputs are actually pretty simple, and I'm playing the game in slow motion here to better explain what's going on. Um, so right here you see I'm using a katana. Katanas are very good uh, for this kind of swap because you can do a parry for the weapon R2. And then after that's done, you're going to swap over to whatever ultra you want to use. In this case, I'm using Lurian's Greatsword. And here we have Longsword again. So you do Weapon Art R2. You're going to change your weapon. And then after that, you need to hold down L2 while exiting the menu, and then press R1 after exiting the menu. And uh, if you do this correctly, here we go, uh, it will First do the R2 weapon art, then you swap, then you do the burger flip attack. 